Okay, let's see if I can get my screen back here. Okay, I think it's being live streamed. Let me just make sure it's muted. Okay, awesome. So I will pin my video. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, I think we're live on YouTube now. <laughs> um, cool. So we will get started here in our comfortable seat. Oh, wow. It feels good to be back on, on the yoga with friends. This is really nice. It's been so long. Okay. We're going to start in our comfortable seat and you can cross your legs at your shins. And then rather than hugging them in kind of under your thighs, like you're sitting crisscross applesauce, you're gonna cross at the shins and make kind of more of a diamond shape with the legs. And then press the outer edges of your feet down into the floor. And then press down through your sit bones and find a comfortable seat by bringing your shoulders over your hips and your ears over your shoulders. And you can close your eyes here if you'd like to start to connect with your breath. It'd be interesting to see how I do after I haven't modeled a full hour of yoga class in a while. So you guys can point and laugh at me if you need to. I totally understand. <laughs> so bring your hands to the tops of your knees or your thighs. You can rest them in your lap if you'd like. You can go palms facing up or down. And then notice if you're holding tension anywhere in your body. And send your awareness there. Giving yourself permission to release and relax. And then begin to observe your breath. Notice the quality of your breath, where you sense it the most in your body. Is it at the tip of your nose, inside your sinuses, down in your throat, maybe in your lungs or all the way down in your belly and your pelvic floor as your diaphragm and your pelvic floor muscles press down on your inhale. Allow your belly button to expand outward as you inhale. So you're really engaging the diaphragm and making more space in the thoracic cavity in the lungs as you take deeper, fuller inhales. And no need to force it here. You don't have to go all the way to capacity. Just breathe as deeply and fully as you can comfortably. And as you breathe here with a soft belly, expanding on the inhale and releasing on the exhale, imagine the space that's being created inside your chest cavity as a glass of water that's being filled from the bottom to the top. So as you inhale into your belly and expand outward, Notice how your rib cage also expands to the sides and up. And then the chest plate, the breastbone, sternum lifts up like a lever, creating more space. And let's go ahead and empty wherever you are in your breath cycle. We'll take two cycles of breath here together. So exhale completely. And then inhaling through your nose, into your belly, fill the belly first, then your rib cage, and then your lungs, your chest, your heart space. Once you're completely full, sit up a little bit taller. Take in two more little sips of air. Pause full. Open your mouth and sigh it out. We'll take one more breath like that together. Inhale into the belly. 
Once the belly's full, inhale into the ribs. Once the ribs are full, fill up the heart space. And then drop the shoulders down your back, lift up through the crown of your head. Lift up through your pelvic floor, draw your navel into your spine and tuck your chin slightly into your chest, into your throat, excuse me. Lift up through the back of your skull. Take two more little sips of air here. Pause full. And then open your mouth and sigh it out. I invite you to bring your left hand to your heart, maybe your right hand to your belly. Drop your chin to your chest and take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. It can be anything that feels authentically yours. Once you have it, repeat it back to yourself again and make a commitment to carry it with you throughout practice. And once you're ready, you've repeated it to yourself, you can gently blink your eyes open and then bring your knees wide and your big toes together. Send your hips back towards your heels, extend your arms, in front of you for child's pose, just for a moment here. And I want to remind you here that this is home base. You can come back to child's pose anytime you need it throughout practice. That's how you know I'm gonna offer you a challenging class today when I tell you to take child's pose anytime you need it. So to take a nice deep inhale here, and on your exhale, you're gonna rock forward, stacking your shoulders over your palms, your hips over your knees. And looking down to your hands, spread your fingers nice and wide and root down through the palm knuckles of both hands. And then spin your left fingers about 10 degrees to the left and your right fingers about 10 degrees to the right. So the webbing of your thumbs are pointing forward and your index fingers are pointing forward but the other six fingers are pointing to the outer edges of your mat. And then on your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your sit bones, lift your gaze for cow pose, draw the shoulders down the back. On your exhale, press the floor away, lift up through your navel, through the back of your heart, pressing down into your hands and your knees with all, all 10 toenails pressed down here. Next inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, press the floor away, rounding your spine for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, press the floor away. Oops. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, press the floor away, and this time tuck your toes, send your hips up and back for down dog. You can step your feet back slightly more if you need to. And then take a moment to look back to your feet and notice if your heels are disappearing behind your toes. Are your feet about inner hips distance apart? Are your hands still stacked about shoulders distance apart. And then lift up through your kneecaps, engage your quadriceps here. Send your hips up and back a little bit farther, get longer through the spine, draw the navel in towards your spine, stitch the front ribs together and lift up through the back of your heart space. So you're kind of filling out the back of the shoulders. Your ears fall between your biceps. Two more breaths here. Slide the shoulders up your back like you're sliding them into your back pockets. Bend your knees, look forward between your hands. Big inhale here, get longer through the spine, send your hips way, way back. 
And then on your exhale, baby step, walk your feet up to meet your hands, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Feet are about inner hips distance apart. Fingertips can graze the front of your shins or the top of your mat. Nice flat back here. Keep sending the shins back in space, but root your weight forward slightly. So you're lifting up the bones of your heels off of the mat and just the skin is touching. Rooting your weight through all four corners of both feet. On your next exhale, forward fold. Then you're gonna root down through your big toes, reach your arms out and up, stand up, palms touch, Tadasana. Exhale, drag your hands down to heart center, Anjali Mudra Tadasana. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, swan dive down, plant your hands, step your right foot back and then your left. Pause here in high plank. Scoop your tailbone under, draw your navel in towards your spine, and then send your shoulders about an inch past your fingertips. Drag your elbows back by your ribs, come down through chaturanga, pause in low plank here. Don't drop your belly to the floor. Keep hugging your elbows in. Flip your feet. Straighten your arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, send your hips up and back for down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step up or float to the top. Inhale for half lift. Exhale for forward fold, just speeding it up a little bit here. Oh my God, my braid keeps trying to pull my earplug out. Root down through the big toes, inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, drag your hands down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, plant your hands, step your left foot back, then your right, pause in high plank. Shoulders come past your fingertips, elbows drag back by your sides. Chaturanga, exhale, pause here. Flip your toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once more, a little faster, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, or float to the top. Inhale for half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root down through the big toes. Inhale brings you up to standing, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive, plant your hands. Option to step one foot at a time or you can bend your elbows and hop back through chaturanga. Inhale brings you up through up dog. And exhale rolls you over your toes into down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, rock forward into high plank. Three-legged plank here. Hands are still resting under your shoulders. Keep the index finger pointing forward, the thumb webbing reaching forward. Square your hips to the floor, draw your navel in towards your spine, and then hug your right knee up to your right, to your chest. Lift your foot up to your butt cheek, and then hug the right knee over to the right shoulder, across the body to the left, back to center, then gently step it down between your hands. Drop your left knee, flip your left toes, Get your right ankle under your right knee, and then inhale, reach your fingertips up. Two breaths here. Shoulders glide down the back, scoop the tailbone under. Heart melts forward, fingertips reach up. Bottom of your next exhale, plant your hands, tuck your left toes, step them forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Oh God, I'm really struggling here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Plant your hands again, option to step one foot at a time or hop back through chaturanga. Inhale for up dog and exhale for down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, rock forward, pause in three-legged plank. Square the hips to the floor, keep reaching through the left heel, get strong through the legs, reach the ears forward. Navel hugs in and up. Then hug your left knee up into your chest. 
hug your heel up towards your butt. Fill out that space between your heart, between your shoulder blades. Reach the left knee over to the left armpit. Across the body to the right. Inhale, brings it back to center. Exhale, step it down, drop the right knee, flip the right toes. Inhale, brings your fingertips all the way up. Reach all the way up, scoop the tailbone under. Lift up out of the kidneys. And then draw the shoulders down your back. So get the shoulders away from your ears. One more breath here while I figure out my hair. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Exhale, plant your hands on either side of the left hand, flip the right toes. This time, step the left foot back and chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. Exhale through down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step hop or float to the top. Inhale for half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down, reach your arms up, stand up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, plant your hands, step up or float back, chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale into down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, rock forward, three-legged plank, square the hips. Hug the right knee up towards your chest. Over to the right armpit. Across the body to the left, keep your hips low here. Lift up through the right lung. Square the hips back, knee to center, and then step it down between your hands. Take a moment to find your balance here. You can come up to tented fingertips. Root down through the big toe of each foot and then inhale, come up slowly to crescent pose. Reach up through your fingertips. Slacken the left leg and neutralize the pelvis here. So you're getting your shoulders over your hips. Tailbone is scooping under. Lift up through the fingertips. The pinky edge of your hand reaches for each other. And then get the right knee directly over the right ankle. Keep lifting up through the fingertips. Keep the integrity of your lower body and then straighten the left leg. See if you can use that strength in the legs to find a little levity and space in your heart. Shoulders hug away from the ears, gliding down. Gaze looks up. Keep your right hand lifted and on your next exhale, plant your left hand inside the right foot. So you're twisting open for revolved crescent pose. Right hand reaches up to the sky, navel hugs into your spine, hips hug into the midline. One more breath here. Next inhale, cartwheel the right hand around and up and forward and then come back up into crescent pose. One breath here. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back and chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And down dog on the exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, rock it forward, pause in three-legged plank. Square your hips to the floor. Keep flexing the left toes back towards your shin. Press up through the back of the heart. Hug your left knee into your chest. And then over to the left armpit. Keep hugging the heel up towards your butt. Drop your hips. Send the knee across your body to the right. Lift up through the left lung here. Drop down through the right. So you're keeping the shoulders square. Knee comes back to center. Step it down between your hands. Come up to tented fingertips. Hug your hips into the midline. And then inhale, reach up for crescent pose. Slack in that right leg. Scoop the tailbone under. Shoulders come over your hips. Fingertips reach up. And then straighten the right leg. 
Your gaze can look up, but try not to crunch through the back of the neck. So you're keeping the chin tucked into your chest. And the upward movement is actually coming from scooping the tailbone under and allowing your heart to melt open. Double breaths here. Next exhale, keep the left hand lifted, drop the right hand inside the left foot, twist open to the left. Left fingertips keep reaching up. Maybe your gaze even looks up to your left thumb. Soften your shoulders. Soften your breath. Next exhale, rotate that left arm back behind you, down and forward, and then reach your right fingertips forward and up. Come back up into crescent pose. One breath here. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back and chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. Exhale into down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step up or float to the top. Inhale for half lift and exhale for forward fold. Inhale brings you up to standing palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, swan dive. Plant your hands, step up or float back into chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes, up dog. And exhale, over the toes, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, rock forward. You know the drill. Inhale, brings your right knee into your chest. Over to the right tricep. Across the body to the left. Back to center. Step it down between your hands. Inhale, reach your fingertips up for crescent pose. Exhale, plant your left hand, reach your right, twist open to the right. Hug your hips into the midline, gaze looks up. This time, stamp your left hand down directly below your left shoulder, spread your fingertips wide to form a nice base for yourself, and then rotate onto the outer edge of your left foot. Maybe your right hand comes down to your right hip, and then maybe you step your right foot back for side plank. Keep that right hip over the left, right shoulder over the left. Right fingertips are reaching out, big toes come together, maybe your heels separate, maybe your right leg floats up, maybe you even step it down behind you, come up onto high heel toes on your left foot and find wild thing. Reach your right arm up and over and then lift up through the hip, through the heart, Soften the front of your body, open up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slowly rotate back into side plank. And then hug your right knee up into your chest. Carefully step it back down to the top of your mat. And then plant your right hand inside your right foot. Rotate back onto the left toes. Option to come on two fists here your hands if it's getting hard on your wrists. And then heel toe your right foot out to the side. Drop your right knee out to the side if you'd like. You can drop your left knee down to the floor, flip the left toes. Maybe your right hand makes its way all the way to the inside of your right knee and your right shoulder head rolls back for lizard pose. Maybe you even gaze backwards opening your heart up toward the front right corner of your mat. Alternative options here are to come onto the outer edge of your right foot, but then roll down onto forearms. You can stack your fists and drop your forehead if you'd like. Long, slow breaths here.
Next exhale, come back onto your palms, stack them under your hips here, and then hug your right knee into your right shoulder. Flip your left toes, lift your left knee, and then gently, carefully step your left foot forward. You're gonna keep both toes pointing off of the mat. Knees are pointed toward your middle toes. And then sit your hips down low here. If you have a block at home, you can place it under your butt if you need to. You can bring your hands to prayer at heart center, but place your elbows inside your knees. And then sit up nice and tall. See if you can get your forearms into a horizontal line here for Malasana pose. So big squat, big opening in the hips. Keep pressing the shoulders down the back, lifting up through the crown of your head to create more space in the spine. And then breathe softly into your belly if you can. Release your jaw. One more breath here. On your exhale, you can plant your hands and gently step your left foot back and then your right and take knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend. And then on your exhale, roll over your toes into down dog. Yep, so I'm definitely losing my breath here. <laughs> Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, rock forward, pause in three-legged plank. Square up your hips, hug your left knee into your chest, hug your heel up towards your butt, press the floor away, make a little space in the back of the heart, and then draw the left knee over to your left tricep. Keep hugging the hips into the midline, keep the hips low across the body to the right, back to center, step it down between your hands, inhale brings you up to crescent, one breath here, inhale lift up through the fingertips, exhale plant your right hand, keep the left hand lifted, twist open to the left, gaze looks up to the left thumb, one breath. On your exhale, look down to your right hand, spread your fingertips wide and stamp your hand down directly under your right shoulder. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot and step your left foot back to meet your right. Option here to drop the right foot about halfway down the mat, or you can stagger your feet if you'd like, or maybe you drop your left foot and then drop your right knee. Oop, that made me very wobbly. Keep drawing the right shoulder down into its socket so that you're long through the right side of the neck. Gaze can look up to the left thumb. Keep stacking the left hip over the right. We have a tendency to drag it back in space. So for many people, it means moving it forward. And then on your next exhale, bring your gaze to the spot where your left foot is going, bend your left leg, and then gently step your left foot forward, plant your left hand inside your left foot, and of course, rolling back onto the right toes. You can heel toe your left foot slightly out to the outer edge of your mat here if you'd like. Option to come onto fists to protect your wrists. You can drop your right knee, flip your right toes, and then allow your left knee to drop out to the side, roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Toes are pointing out towards the outer edge. Maybe your left hand makes its way to the inside of your left knee, and the left shoulder head rolls back, making space for your heart to melt forward. Or maybe you drop down onto forearms, stack your fists, give your forehead a place to rest. Couple more breaths here.
And then wherever your hands are, go ahead and bring them back to being placed directly under your shoulders. Fingertips are spread wide. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, and then hug your left knee into your left shoulder. Carefully and gently step your right foot forward. Toes are pointing off the mat, heels pointing in. Sit the hips down for Malasana pose. Bring your palms together at your heart. Knees come inside. Sorry, knees are pressing into the elbows, elbows into the knees. Find that little isometric pressure with the elbows and the knees. Allow that to help you find a little more space vertically in the spine. Shoulders glide down the back. Lift up through the crown of your head. One more breath here. Next exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back and then your left and chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Inhale through your back bend and exhale into down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step hop or float to the top. Inhale for half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root down through your big toes. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, swan dive down. Plant your hands, step hop or float back through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale into down. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Inhale, reach your fingertips up, crescent. Exhale, plant your left hand, reach your right fingertips up, twist open to the right. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Step your right foot back. Oh no, this again. Inhale, lift up through the right fingertips. Exhale, maybe you extend your right arm overhead. Maybe you even see if you can lift that right hip up, get shorter in the left side waist, longer in the right. Inhale, brings your right hand back up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, plant your right hand inside the right foot and then step your left foot forward. Come back into Malasana pose. This time you can opt for a bind here. So uh, you can wrap your, bring your left shoulder inside the left knee and option to wrap the left arm around the front of your shin, right arm around the back. Shoulder heads melt back, gaze looks up. Or if you'd like to attempt Bird of Paradise, you can wrap that left shoulder, bringing the arm through kind of between the thigh and the shin, and then find your bind here. Then step your weight into your left foot, and then heel toe your right foot into the center. Stamp your right foot down into the floor and slowly start to shift your weight into the right leg. Come up to standing. I'm on like two layers of carpet and yoga mat here, so we'll see if this works. Keep rolling the shoulder heads back. Once you're standing, put a soft bend in the right knee and see if you can get straight through the left leg, whoops. And then if you fall over, just come back down the way that you went in. And we'll play with this here for just a moment here. So keep rooting down through the right foot, stay soft in the right knee, engaged in the right thigh muscles, quadriceps. And then once you're standing, point the left toes, see if you can play with carefully, gently straightening the left leg. Try to keep rolling those shoulder heads back. And then once you've had enough, you can come down, come out of it, shake out your arms, 
plant your hands. And then again, you're gonna plant your hands under kind of inner shoulders distance apart. And then come up onto tippy toes here, spread your fingertips out to the side. So those kind of last six fingers, the last three on each hand are reaching out to the outer edge. The index finger is forward and the thumb webbing is forward. So you're really clawing the mat, press down into all 10 finger knuckles here. And then shift your weight forward slightly, press your knees into the back of your triceps up towards the top. Come up onto tippy toes. Get long through the back of your neck and gaze looks down to the floor. Keep the knees to the outer edges of the triceps. Keep hugging the elbows into the midline. Navel hugs in towards the spine and then shift your weight forward enough that your elbows come over your wrists. Keep looking down and then play with lifting one foot at a time for crow pose. Beautiful, yes, amazing. Okay, and then when you come out of it, you can roll out your wrists for a moment and then plant your hands, step your feet back. You can take knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale brings you up through a back bend and exhale into down dog. I know I'm not taking it easy on you tonight. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, rock forward, step it down between your hands. Inhale brings you up to crescent pose. Exhale, plant the right hand, lift the left. Look down to your right hand, roll to the outer edge of your right foot, and then step the left foot back. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. And then lift up through those left fingertips, lift up through the left hip. Maybe you extend the left arm overhead, pinky edge to the floor. Keep hugging, keep pressing. Soft bend in the elbow, soft breath. Inhale, come back. Left hand to left hip and then hug your left knee up to the center. I forgot wild thing on the other side so you can step it down behind you. We'll do a quick wild thing so you're not lopsided. Lift up through the hips, lift up through the heart. I knew I was forgetting something. Next exhale, come back to center, left hand to your hip, and then swivel that left knee into your chest and hug it up to center, step it forward. Drop your left hand inside your right, sorry, inside your left foot. Roll out your right wrist for a moment. And then gently step your left, sorry, right foot. Now I'm getting them all mixed up. Right foot comes forward, find your Malasana pose. And again, we're going to find our bind here. So bring your right shoulder to your right knee. And then wrap, if you're taking Bird of Paradise, you can wrap it under your right thigh. And then wrap your left shoulder head back, reach your left arm around back and clasp your hands behind you. Then step your weight into your right foot, heel toe your left foot into the center, and then shift your weight into your left foot. Start to straighten your left leg, maybe the right toes kind of baby step in towards the midline. Keep a firm grasp on your hands. Keep rolling the shoulder heads back and slowly start to stand yourself up. Maybe that's as far as you make it and maybe the bind is as far as you go. That's totally okay. I'm not sure that I can do it on this side. It's normal to be a bit lopsided and I'm like especially lopsided on the left. So. But it's fun to play with it a bit. So be playful with it. Don't take it too seriously. Once you're standing, point that right toe. See if you can get it straight. Whoop, that's as far as I made it. Okay, Whew. coming back down. All right, and then we can optionally do child's pose or you can take another crow here. 
So you want your hands to be shoulders distance apart. If you aren't sure, you can clasp opposite arms and then stamp your hands down. You want your fingers to turn slightly outward. So the index finger is pointing up towards the upper edge. Webbing is pointing up. And then you're going to bring your feet closer together. Come onto tippy toes, plant your knees to the outer edges of your triceps or the straight into the back of your triceps. Play with it, see what works for you. And then start to lift your butt, shift your weight forward so that your elbows come over your wrists. Keep hugging your elbows into the midline. Navel hugs up towards the spine. It takes as much core strength as it does arm strength. Keep practicing, keep breathing. Find your long, slow breaths here. Awesome, and then once you've had enough, you can, you can take a child's pose. So we can bring the big toes together, the knees nice and wide, send the hips back. Reach your arms forward, bring your forehead down to the mat. Let your arms melt down here, release any effort. Let your chest and your belly melt down between your legs. Nice and soft. Long, slow breaths. Next inhale, rock yourself forward and bring your knees together and then swivel your feet out to one side. Come to a seat about halfway down your mat and then roll onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. You can close your eyes here if you'd like. Draw little circles on the ceiling with your knees in one direction, massaging your sacrum. And then change directions. And then spread your knees wide and your feet wide and reach your arms around the outer edges of your legs to the outer edges of your feet. Pull your knees down towards your armpits. Keep your shoulders planted and your hips planted if you can. And just keep pulling the hips, the feet down. Nice big stretch for happy baby. Option to rock side to side. And let those hips go. Long, slow breath. Release your feet and hug your knees back into the center. You can extend your right arm out from your right shoulder and then extend your left leg long. So the left hand stays to the right knee and then scoot your hips about an inch and a half or two inches over to the right. And then drop your right knee across your body to the left. And then relax your legs, let your shoulders stay heavy here. Maybe your gaze looks over to your right hand, you can close your eyes here. It can feel really nice to also let go of your right knee and maybe cactus both arms. Next inhale brings you back to center, hug both knees into your chest, 
and square up your hips so that they're even again. Extend your right leg long. Keep your right hand to your left knee and then extend your left arm out to the side. You can always make a goal post shape with your arm if you're running out of space in your home. And then scoot your hips about two inches to the left and let your left knee draw across your body to the right and get heavy to the floor. If it doesn't make it all the way to the floor and you need a pillow or a bolster or something to rest it on, you can always grab something, whatever you have handy at home. And then keep both shoulders rooted down to the floor and let your gaze drift over to the left. Close your eyes. Soften your breath. And soften the front of your throat. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And let go. Imagine your inhales are making your spine longer and softer. And your exhales are gently allowing you to release from the navel and twist even just slightly more deeply. Next inhale brings you back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Hug your nose up to your knees. Squeeze everything into a tight little ball and take a deep breath here. On your exhale, expand outward and step your feet a bit wider than your hips. Plant the back of your head firmly into the floor and roll your shoulder heads back so that your pinky edges of your hand reach towards your side, palms facing up. And then allow yourself to get so heavy here and so comfortable that your feet fall out to the side and your fingers curl up towards your palms. Relax your feet and your legs. Allow your hips to get heavy and release your low back. Soften your belly. And relax your arms. Relax the front of your throat. Find a little space between your top and bottom teeth. And relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Allow the space between your eyebrows to melt and soften like butter. And you can shift your awareness here to your breath. And I invite you in Shavasana to allow yourself to observe any thoughts or any impulses to fidget or move or think. Observe them non-judgmentally without attaching yourself to them. And see if you can allow them to simply wash over you. I will let you know when it's time to come out.
start to bring a little life back into your fingers and toes, giving them just a gentle wiggle. You can take a deep breath in here and extend your hands to the floor overhead like you're waking up for the first time this morning. It might feel nice to point your toes and just really give a big stretch here. And then on your exhale, roll over onto your right side and cradle your head on your right arm. I invite you to keep your eyes closed here. Take a moment to absorb the benefits of your practice and the time that you've given to yourself tonight. When you're ready, you can allow your next inhale to gently carry you over your right hip up to a comfortable seat. And I invite you to keep your eyes closed. Rest your palms on the top of your knees, in your thighs. You can bring them facing up or down. Soften your belly here. We'll take two rounds of intentional breath together. So empty your belly wherever you are in your breath cycle. We'll take a long, slow inhale through the nose into the belly. Once your belly is full, inhale into the ribs. And once your ribs are full, inhale into the heart space. Pause completely full. Lift up through the crown of your head. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Take one more breath like that together. Long, slow inhale into the belly. Into the ribs. and into the heart space. Once you're completely full of breath, draw your pelvic floor up, draw your navel in and up towards your spine, get your shoulders over your hips, lift up through the crown of your head and find a slight tuck to your chin, and then take two more little sips of breath. Allow the pressure to build. Imagine you're a bottle of warm champagne that's been shaken. The pressure is building up to the crown of your head. Open your mouth and slowly sigh it out. You can bring your hands to prayer or your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. I invite you to drop your chin to your chest and return to your intention from the beginning of practice. You can make a commitment here to carry it with you through the rest of your evening, if you'd like. And I invite you to call in an authentic sense of gratitude for what your body is capable of, for the time you were able to dedicate here, your community, anything that feels authentic for you. May the benefits of our practice together far outreach what our minds are capable of seeing. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me.